Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the Irishscrapper.com and today I have a card for you using the Swirly Bird uh, bundle uh, from the catalog. So this card was actually inspired directly from our current uh, annual catalog and I will show you that. Um, on page 152 you can see um, they're showcasing the Swirly Bird stamp set um, as well as a few projects and I was inspired by this project here on the lower right side. Um, that is a th simple thank you card. Uh, so this was my take uh, on that card. Let me go ahead and bring you guys down a little bit. Um, it does take a little bit of time so I've done a few things in advance. Um, our card base is a standard A2 size, so that is uh, A2, so that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then I have a top layer that just a quarter inch shy of that in Whisper White as well. This is the first time I've done white on white, um, but wanted to give it a try. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and get started with our stamping, and from the Swirly Bird stamp set we are going to use let's see here we're going to use these two floral images I've already done this leaf as well as the small um, lines in the center we're also going to use these bubbles uh, in this project as well okay so let's start with the larger swirl I'm going to put that on my black. We're going to stamp that in our flirty flamingo. And hopefully, since we are going to be using the uh, thinlets too, um, one of them is much larger than this flower. So I just want to make sure I give myself enough room here. Make sure that's straight. I think I will stamp it about there. Let that ink soak in. Okay. Um, all right, I think we're done with that swirl. We're going to use the other swirl twice. So let me just get that changed up here. All right. We are going to be using Daffodil Delight and Peekaboo Peach. And on my original, I did full strength behind the actual dies. So this time I think I'm going to stamp off just to give us a little bit of a different tone. So let me bring in my scratch paper here. We'll go ahead and start with our Peekaboo Peach. We'll ink this up. Okay, and then I am just going to stamp off over here. And then I'm going to, whoa, I almost, yeah, let me try that again. I think I touched it, sorry. Stamp off. I'm going to flip that around. And I am going to bring them kind of close to each other. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll do the same thing uh, with the Daffodil Delight. This video will probably be a little bit longer. I may try to speed up certain parts. Okay, and I think I'm going to turn this one inward here. Okay. All right. Um, I'm also going to be using our pear pizzazz, and we are going to use that with the bubbles uh, from the stamp set. Let me pull these out. Let me remove that. A lot of switching of blocks here today. 
Okay, and we're going to stamp off with that as well. So just to give us a very light uh, tone of bubbles. So I am going to bring this in. I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp down here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And maybe we'll go this way a little. That looks good. Everyone is different. Okay. Alright, so let me get our scratch paper out of here. And now I am going to go ahead and bring in the big shot so you can see um, those being cut out. Here I have my magnetic platform in there, my first cutting pad, and we are going to do this larger swirl in Flirty Flamingo. So let me get that. Okay, so here's the Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to lay the the die down, bring my top cutting plate on, and then we are just going to roll this through. I'm a little too close here. Okay. So you can see here is our swirl. Let me pull this aside. There's the swirl, so we'll set that aside. We're only going to use that large one once um, with the, the flirty flamingo. And then I'm going to use this smaller one that kind of sits inside um, for our other colors. So we are going to do one in Daffodil Delight, Peekaboo Peach, as well as Emerald Envy. So we can go ahead and get those done. Alright, so now we can come back um, and continue on our card. Let me set those aside. Um, okay, so I am going to be using uh, this one over our Flirty Flamingo. I'm sticking with the, the same colors, um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bring in that Emerald Envy piece that we... Um, did, and I'm going to put that over the flirty flamingo just to give it a real pop. So I'm going to get our fine tip glue. I found that's the easiest for this. Um, it just takes a little bit of time with all these skinny, skinny lines. Okay. All right. So here are, I just rolled that through the glue. Uh, here are the leaves that I pre-stamped um, and cut before the video. So I used the pear pizzazz. I stamped off to do the background of the leaf, and then I did full strength uh, for the leaf. And then we're going to go ahead and use glue dots um, to get those down. So I have my glue dot here, and I'm just going to put my edge, both edges, in. Just like this. Of course, this went so much smoother the first time. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to stick those, if I can, just under here. Just like that. Okay. Let's do that again with this other set. All right. this up. Let me just turn it. Okay. Alright, so we're almost there. Um, now I'm going to take a piece of our Flirty Flamingo ribbon and I'm going to get that put down to the top of our card. Uh, let me grab my scotch tape. Alright. 
we're just going to hold that. Sorry, I think I bumped the camera. All right, and then I'm just going to grab an extra little piece. Wow, I keep doing that, sorry. Um, I'm going to grab an extra piece and just do a little tie knot there. Right, right over, over that. Okay, and I think I'm going to bring it this way a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut these edges on an angle. Hopefully we can see that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, looks good. All right, so let's get that put down um, to our card base. Let me find my snail. Let me give myself a little bit of adhesive everywhere here. Oh, you know what? I actually just realized I used dimensionals on my original um, to pop up this top. So let me go ahead and get those down. You All right, bring back in our card base. And I am going to put this down just like that. All right, now for... Um, the sentiment. I am using Teeny Tiny Wishes. Let me find that for you. Uh, the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. You, so you have sentiments for many, many things. This is a great set to have as a part of your collection. I stamped Thank You in the Peekaboo Peach. And then I'm going to use our um, new classic label punch to punch this out. So if I can get this lined up. I am left-handed, so let me do my best to line that up. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we are going to use that. We're going to take a little bit of our washi tape. This is from the Playful Palettes um, Designer Washi Tape. This is the Emerald. And I am just going to tear off a piece myself. No specific um, length or anything. And I'm going to lay that across the bottom there. I'm going to take a few more glue dots on the back of this label. I think I'll put three. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of layer that right there on top of the washi tape. And then the final touch um, is going to be some silver uh, sequins. So I just put these down directly to a glue dot and I'm just gonna put a couple of those around here just to give it a little little more bling. Okay so that completes our our card for today. I think this is a super cute set. Um, I really like it. I love how these swirlies can turn into um, flowers so quickly. So if you do have any questions, uh, please let me know. I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Uh, again, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a nice giveaway. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.